say if we look at the songs that we have been graced with throughout history, we can map the history of Trinidad and Tobago because there are some songs which mark point in time. Caribbean insight, ready is dynamite. Caribbean insight, really super was spite. Caribbean insight, enjoy day or night. Caribbean insight, really is dynamite. This is the movement of our people, our history, and our country to the world. Reveals the local color the color of the street, the color of the people of the street, the man we know as the warlord, the man we know as the original rude boy, Mr. Carlton Joseph. Put your hands together for the Lord. Blakey is the man. I was a shoemaker. And Blakey, they have, have a tool in, sh in shoemaker they call him Blakey. So, I used to make my shoes on this, this Blakey thing, so that stick on to me, Blakey stick on to me. So when I get in Calypso, I only put, I don't the law to it. Mm. Oh, presently now I'm the warlord. Now, I, they say, I am a miserable fellow in, in Calypso, you know. I, I look for argument all the time. <laughs> so they call me the warlord in Calypso because as a Calypso, you know, I'm looking for argument all the time. <laughs> I put in my shell a long time ago on the shelf I stay with my friends and family I cool in myself Don't know what I do them But they giving me problem They testing me faith So let me warn them before it's too late So I warn them I really don't want no trouble That's what you will say I see about me wife and children Every blessed day I taking things easy they keep on pushing me, I can't take no more. So if they tackle to Bali's war, <laughs> they will be long. They will be long. They will be long. Not too long ago, this happened. Friends at night, I weep. My deceased father, Kaye, come to me in my sleep. He tell me, Matt, take it easy. Son, don't take on nobody. But in your mind, stamp it out. You have a family to see about, so I warn them. I really don't want no trouble. That's what you will say. I see both my wife and children every blessed day. I take in things easy. But they keep on pushing me. When I can't take no more. Tell them! I'll say it's war. Say, lo di doi. They believe it, they will come from I leave LC Coro for them. I've gone in the east. I'm planning to settle down, but still I can't live in peace. This I got to mention, day and night is provocation. Look, don't cause no mess, leave this sleeping tiger to rest. So I warn them, I really don't want no trouble, that's what you will say. I see both my wife and children every blessed day. Them who play in bosses, my recreation is horses. And me ain't playing bad, but I could give them the hardest hard. <laughs> Begin in 1954 when I sang Steel Band Clash. Well, I was a member of the same Tokyo Steel Band. At that time, they called it Destination Tokyo. And the clash took place in Park Street. That, that year, Destination Tokyo played sledgemen. I was one of the sledgemen and invaders was coming up Park Street and Tokyo was coming down. If you listen to the Calypso, you can see the same thing I'm saying in it. 
So I ain't shift no way. Why did this incident happen in 1950 and Bleak? You only sing about it in 1954. What happened? What made me get across to that? I got three years at Youth Training Center, which is YTC. Youth Training Center at Golden Grove. And when I reached there to, to do my, my time, I was relaxed. So, so I ended up making the clip. Boy, it was something else. That night, well, that time, the, the, the Guardian used to run the competition at the Savannah. And they used to have the audition in a place they call Guardian Sport Club. That is the same place on Rice Road. How do they call it now? I don't know what they call it, but the Guardian newspapers used to run that competition in the savannah and i went down there myself i meet christo there this is lord melody this is christo it was a bacchanal 1950 carnival fight for so with invaders and tokyo my friend run and left his hat when they hit him a baseball bat never me again to show in a steel band in port of spain <laughs> Sweet, coming up Park Street, Tokyo, coming down, beating very slow. And friends, when the two band clash, Mama, yo, if you see God clash, never me again. To so something a steel band in Potter's Start belting if you see sleds passing. Husband and wife look, they start running for their life. A Indian man selling bread, shout out, land today are dead. Never me again. Jump in a steel band in Porter Spain. Get hot if you see men get hot. Lord Blakey running her house by a lady. Quite under the lady bed, they pelt a bottle and bust me head. Never me again. To jump in a steel van in Porta Spain. Telling you. I think, I think I had the people under control because I'm, I was a laughing Calypsonian and I make fun all the time with the audience because I figured that if a fellow leave his home to come out to listen to Calypso, he come to enjoy himself or to ease off some of the worries if he have any at his home to come to relax in it and so when I sing, I make a fun of it. I make you laugh because this was my head. This is what my head in Calypso to make the man who come to the tent in Johnson. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the next song I'm going to sing is Chinese Incident. It's a Chinese man truck and a Negro man make a collision. But the two trucks squeeze a car which was driven by a woman. Well, friends, I laugh too bad until I near go insane. When the muddy street call the Chinese man to explain, he say, My lolly, corny up, he lolly, corny tongue, he too lolly, bongy lady. Sorry, 
Hollywood in day When he wife say, hush for To hear what the Chinese say But the persecutor self Like if he went out the brain He mad a straight pass another But he asks the Chinese again The Chinese say, my lolly Honey up, he lolly Honey tongue, he too lolly Pong he lady, life up Helicotty, but he lolly Jam si pihan and po si lei katong On ma loli, so please tell me Who pla ki loli mo long Before things get out of hand, get this man a lawyer. Well, in no time at all, they brought in this man along. Is he what explain what was said by the Chinese man? He said what his lorry coming up, he lorry coming down, the two lorry bounce the lady right in front, everybody. But his lorry jumps she behind and push the lady cut down on his lorry. So please tell he who blasted lorry more wrong. <laughs> Watch it, outside. Yeah, if I give a joke, let me sound like I even give sparrow the break. That time they had dirty gym in Saudi, and the two people who was running dirty gym was DC Sagalba and Skipper. Skipper is in somewhere in St. Croix now. And I carry Sparrow there. And I say, I, the, I call them, me and Sparrow coming up the Isle Center aisle. And when the two of them reached me close, we reached close to one another, I say, I'm here now. There's a young Calypsonian, you know, he want to get in the tent to sing. And Skipper turned to me and said, I'm the tent full. And he and the sea Sakalba turned away and keep walking back up the center. Parts. So when they reach about 15 yards away from me, I turn and say, I'm Sakalba. He is a Grenadian like you, you know. And he come back to Papa, walk back down and say, I'm Point this barrel and say, You sing it, come later. I say, Move, let me get me share. They beat in Grenadian down in the square. I must give a lash, let me get me share. Man, they lick in Grenadian in Woodford Square. Since they hear we have federation, all of them back up here in the island. Immigration have them under arrest. The policemen beating them and arrest. Man, if you see how they hold it, it scams and them friends, you're bound to ball. Some of them could read and spell, but they can't pronounce at all. The policemen telling them, say, pick you stupid man. And as they say, hug, licks in the policeman. <laughs> I woke the man went to seek The boss tell him five dollars a week He say pass me not tell you flat Me not walking for that All right twenty dollars a month The boss say that song him better Me walk right away Man if you see how they hold in the scams And them friends you bound to ball Some of them could read and spell But they can't pronounce at all Policemen telling them say box you stupid man And as they say box Licks in the police van Start to 
shoot His name is the mighty sparrow The man could sink a little But I waiting on the judge and jury As they finish with he When he win the case I win have no fear posting him back in a box man handle with care If you see how they holding the scams And them friends you bong to ball Some of them could read and spell But they can't pronounce at all The policemen telling them Say walk you stupid man And as they say walk Twenty of them live next to me. Let us have Lord Blakey on easy. When they wake in the morning, see how they're stretching Like they're sleeping and slumber king But inside the house, they have a bed I wonder where them scam, they just rest the head So a night the Lord Blakey take a little peep They just hang on to a line and stand up to sleep Man, if you see how they holding the scams And them friends, you're bound to fall Some of them could read and spell But they can't pronounce at all Man. And as they say cross, clicks in the police man. TV is your one-stop shop for culture. So share it. Hit me off a like with some fire and some flames. But most of all, subscribe. Why? Because it's the fuel that keeps the cultural revolution moving. So while you make your free commitment, I'll do this. Spitfire, telling me that he went to St. Vincent, or my mother from St. Vincent. And when they want to grind cuckoo in St. Vincent, they used to grind cuckoo with the foot. Everybody take off the shoes and wash the foot, and they put around a cuckoo, and they start to sing this song. I said, what song they start to sing? And he started to sing, and say this was it. this was the Vincentian twang. And the, the, the Vincentian song for grinding cocoa, what's the name of the song? He said, Man in Kakaku, Kokiyoko, Kokiyoko. And, I, and I'm afraid that. So I use it in my version. I say, Well, it, and that time, all the Calypso, and it is from here. But over there, they was trying to sing Calypso, so this was the action. Last Calypso season, Lord Blakey went to St. Vincent. Last Calypso season. Lord Blake Evans and Vincent. So they had a competition to crown the King Calypsonian. When they crown the Calypso King, this is the song that the fella sing. And he cry out, Man in Kakaku, Kokiyoko, Kokiyoko, Kokiyo. Well, that was my version. Man in Kakaku, Kokiyoko, Kokiyoko. Wake up, girl, and put on your frack. Wake up, girl, you know, hey, the cock. Wake up, girl, and come out we go, a man in Kakakro. Well, in St. Vincent, there is a cock used to wake them in the morning. Hey, you know this girl in the Desperado, the Black Spaniard, the leader of the Godfather's Asylum, we never while and we just take lyrical bodies, stack them and pile them. It's the lyrical, never gimmickal, never comical, put them lie down, you don't know. It's girl insane, you're watching right now, Caribbean inside, running right through America, representing the Caribbean full right up in colors. Straight, you don't know, fire! No Calypsonian in the world or no singer in the world could learn that, you know. This guy is gonna call myself at Mustafa. Went to a rap festival in Arabia. And this guy is gonna call myself at Mustafa. Went to a rap festival in Arabia. For your better information, if you want to know, I was the Calypsonian they picked to go. 
But I couldn't speak the language, so I ain't rude. But alone on the way how to speak for food was give me some kit bila ham and michi. Horra for no hockey Santa Buri, Rakata after Hatan Mamaduki, the men you kill of do Lati. Nobody can sing that. I alone could sing that. Now, next, a second Calypso and could sing that like me. Because I, is, now, if, if I give a joke, I don't know what I'm saying, you know. But I just put words together in my way. So I practice that. So I know nobody can sing that like me. The chairman at the CDC was Mr. Ronnie Williams. And he wanted me to sing a song. And this is Dr. Williams. And I end up singing that song. And from the time I start the song, I realized that the audience didn't want that. They wanted to hear me sing the Arabian. Because them and all could not understand what I was saying. But I know why I, I know what I was saying. Because I talk in Arabian and it's only me alone know, know what I'm saying. Right. And when I, they come and ask me, I'm, you know what you're saying? I say no. But I, I know what I'm saying in the Calypso. Because I understand what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying in the Calypso. But put it to me and ask me about this word and that word and that word. I, uh, I disguise and I call myself as Mustafa. Went to Arab festival in Arabia. I disguised and I called myself a Mustafa. Went to Arab festival in Arabia. For your better information, if you want to know, I was the Calypsonian they picked to go. But I couldn't speak the language, so I ain't rude. But alone on the way, how to beg for food was give me some kit, pila, ham, and michi. Harra for na haki santa buri, rakatatr hat an mamaduki, the men you kill up do na di keradi. Well listen to the Lord Blakey, I was invited to that party. But lucky I meet an English lady, she that gave the right direction to me. She said, turn right, turn left, boy, and go down straight. Turn right again, and you'll meet a gate. I walking in the road by myself alone, repeating the Arab tune that alone was give me some kit, bila ham, and michi. Harra fana haki santa buri, rakatapr hatan mamaduki, the men you kill up to daddy, hey daddy. When I reach, they had a big, big function. They hand me a chair so I could take a seat and ask for anything that I want to eat. I fell asleep, he skipped his seat, they hand him a spoon. I said I'd learn that language before afternoon. Well, I'm hungry, but I don't know what to do. I roll my tongues, the brisky, the kiss, too. Was give me some kid, be like I'm a nichi. Horra, fana, okay, santa, buri, rakata, and Mama Duke, the man you kill up to daddy, daddy. Well, I sit down and I sigh for my own problem. I find a look in plenty different to them. They give me a toe banana parrot alone. Die the pants, it is real like a big balloon. But they think too big for me, a drooping down. I fell as I to roll up the Arab tongue. To repeat what he say, I didn't got the brain. So I gone back begging for my food again. Was give me some kit, pila ham and michi. Horra for na haki santa buri. Rakata tr hat and mama duke. The men you kill up to la de la de. I I was on a waiting trial in in um, Golden Grove Golden Grove and then they bring me down here at Royal Jail and I in a cell by myself 
So I wanted something to do. So the only, th I always make calypsos, you know, make tune and all of these things. So I do my own thing. I make all my calypsos. And uh, inspiration come to me that I like so much girl and things. <laughs> so that figure to me, but I have a tune for it. I have a tune and I have no words. <laughs> and take me back. And uh, you know, hear what happened. During the year 1962, I was singing that song because that year Sparrow went away in the Calypso season. And we tell the management, which is Mr. Seal Taylor, he's a deceased now, he did. That look, the only person could fill this spot for me is Blakey. I was singing in the next tent. And they brought me across. And I ended up singing that song. Maria, how do you? And he didn't want me to sing it. <laughs> the manager, which is deceased, Sil Taylor, didn't want me to sing it neither. But a night, deceased Dr. William come in the tent. And deceased Christo was the MC. And they announced me with him. You know the answer. That was the next song I sing. You know the answer. And they tell Christo to announce me with that. I tell him, announce me with holy pussy. And them tell him to announce me with this. You know the answer. So, me say nothing. When the music started to play, and it reached to the end for I to sing, I, I stand up. So I started to explain to the audience, I say, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, but the MC make a mistake with the name of the song. The song I'm going to sing is Hold the Pussy. And from that, when I sing that song that night, I get, I had to sing it about twice, but three times I had to sing it, three times I had to sing that. It's true, it's <laughs> true, because at that time, they had a fella used to go wrong. But as this is Christo say, I use he as if he got it. And I use it as the pussy. I use him as the pussy cat, and I do it that my way. It's only happening where? On CIT. And I'll be right back with much more. I was in the Savannah that year, and he sang on Dogla. And I sat around and I said, why are you singing on the man? The man is a calypsoonian like yourself. But when Bomber come and win him now, I was, that was my time. The calypso and gone. What a tragic moment. When he recover, he start a ball. When he go this decision, he get giddy, faint and fall. Was the competition for the calypso king. You know the bull first Grenadian Sparrow really thought he'd win. <laughs> I could talk because I ain't care. He get a licking fear. Was up in Savannah. He get licked by the mighty bomber. Who wasn't there could I hear. And who was there could I see. So he could walk about no one tell the public again. They rub him with me. <laughs> you have to take that. Eh? But the part of the Calypso I like is um, this part. Um, he shouldn't get on so. Mama, you sparrow start to cry. It's I should have be angry. And friends, I won't tell you why. Like Trinidad, I've no Calypsonian. A vex till a blue man at on back red. They take the crown from one Grenadian and put it on the next one head. But my is a Grenadian, you know? You know? You know? Uh, you tell me that. <laughs> I'm Super Blue. My name is Gypsy. My name is Barry Simon. This is the Messenger. So what I thought you dial now? Glenn Washington says so. Caribbean Insight. Depths. Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Please check Caribbean Insight. If I'm in the Calypso tent, if I sing in a Calypso tent, I use a switch, which is a, 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 um, a antenna from a car shine sometimes but if I have any way to go and sing I, I, and I can't get no switch I use a straw now this is to make a novella short and my hand short so this is an extra length to draw the audience to me that they go understand what I am saying <laughs> you understand that kind of way so I use that extra thing let's welcome on stage 
Carlton Joseph, better known as the Warlord Blakey. <laughs> You know how long I want to see to Mr. Blakey. I hear you is the best Calypsonian in this country. So before you leave, tonight the girls start to laugh. I want you to take out your pen and give me your autograph. I look at me watch, friends, it was it to tea. I say now is good time to sign this business for she. I take out me pen and just ask the girl where she born. As I go to sign me signature, yeah, man the current one. The girl have to run to buy candle down in the shop But to come back quick, she got to make her runs to a track As she reach and light the candle, the current come back So we watch each other and started to laugh then she say, well, no, Blakes, give me your autograph. Friends, it happened, yes, so now it start to rain. As I go to sign the signature, current on again. <laughs> But 
until the ink wouldn't flow. So she light her match to burn the point a bolo. No! So she passed she tongue on the point rub it in she hand. Then all of a sudden, partner ink start to flow as man. So she missed her tell me, Blakey finished mine. She pull me away from he and tell them, Mr. More times, I decide to sign them, believe it or not. As I go to sign the signature, man, the current pot. <laughs> I had to go on that stage. That's why I started drinking. Drink alcohol. Because if I had to go on that stage, I was so scared. This is spoiler. Pour a drink in a glass. That tall and say, take a drink. And this is the only how I could have sing to the public. I have to mix up my head to sing. I warning everybody. So listen to Lord Blakey. Suknia start back again from my arrow to Port of Spain. I warn in all bachelor women to be careful of them. I nearly die with fright. They catch one sucking me neighbor last night. She start bawling. Murder police. Me neighbor start bawling. Murder police. Everyone came running. Murder police. Bring the barrel attack. Never all you come here quick. Look a hole as you come After the back and all over, I went next door by my neighbor. She started to explain. Neighbor Blakey, I was feeling shame. Cause I had on a short merino. And I forgot to lock me door. He crawl in and hold up me two foot so. And I wear this hook me a go. This start falling. <laughs> every, every day, my neighbor complaining. But Sparrow and his smutty calypso singing. It's a disgrace to hear Sparrow singing. And my brothers and sisters them listening. My mother run and hold my sister by she throat. When she heard that singing, John float and the goat. Only let she go and come inside the guild start to sing the family size. Sparrow alone is not to be blamed. Is the committee and judges give him his fame? Or smarty Jean and I sing when they crown him to need that calypso king. I hope you have enjoyed the trip. Remember to subscribe to keep the cultural revolution alive. According to Stalin, stand up for something or you will die for nothing. I'm Lady V. Take care of yourselves and each other, and thank you for watching.